Hey guys, as always, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is gonna be part two on how to use Sales Navigator. So today I wanna teach you guys about lead lists, how I set my lead lists up, and then in part three tomorrow will be how you then go through these lead lists and tag them so that you can form your prospects accordingly. So I hope you enjoy this video. I'm gonna go onto my laptop again and show you on Sales Navigator exactly how I build a lead list. So I hope you guys enjoy. Okay, so we're going to cover lead lists. Now we're gonna go into Sales Navigator once again. You should have watched yesterday's video. If you haven't, go back onto my channel, watch it. It's going to be on how to use saved searches, which is where I covered how I do my saved searches, how I recommend building them and storing them. After we've done this, so you saw me create these two lead lists. I'm going to use the same ones just so it stays fluid and it makes sense to the previous video. I'm gonna go on to here. So here you can see, I have this as a saved search. Now, to build a lead list, all I could do, I could either save all of these leads or I could specifically save a few of them to move them as a separate lead list to then go and farm and prospect. So for the sake of this video, let's do, we could either select them all or I could say this person, this person, this person. Let's just say I like these leads from this list and I'm going to save it to a lead list. So I can create a different lead list. So I'm going to create a new one for the sake of this video. For example, we could split this into pretty much anything. We could split it into geographical location. We could split it into industry. We could split it by month, say like October, November, December. We could split it into priority. I would say I'd probably save it as something similar to what I do for my saved searches. So for example, I normally name it as location, the company had the company size, the industry and the seniority level. I could, for example, this one, I could just call it restaurant owners, create and save. And then what I can do is as more people get added, so with your saved search, obviously you set your alerts to either daily, weekly, or monthly, or no alerts. You It will show up like this, so if you have new leads, you can click onto the lead list and then go through and add any more people that you want to, to the lead list that we just created. So all you need to do to access your lead list is go over into lists, go on to lead lists, and you will see here we've got restaurant owners. Under restaurant owners, we have the people that we have saved and it also shows you some of the Sales Navigator features that we have on the general advanced search results, which is if they've posted on LinkedIn in the past 30 days, if they share experiences with you, etc. Now, um, for this, this is the type of time that I would start using the outreach method, this ECCC method. If you don't know which method I am talking about, it is covered in my free masterclass. I'll leave it as the first link in the description below this video. It's a free video, go watch it, take notes, screenshot how I use the process, and this is where you would want to start using it. So you could go onto this tab, select the most active people, and start cycling them into your outreach, um, which is explained in the video. So go and watch it, even, actually watch it after you watch this video and it will help you start implementing it from there. So this is where you see your lead lists. If you want to view them with your sales navigator tools, then you can go on my saved leads. Then all you need to do is go on to custom lists. Instead of accounts, go on to leads, because obviously that would show you saved leads, saved accounts. So custom lists, leads, and then I can select which one I want to do. So for us, it's restaurant owners. So I select restaurant owners. It shows me your results. And then I can also go ahead and even filter them even more. I can use tags and save them, save them to a different list, etc., etc. I'm going to cover tags in tomorrow's video. That's it for this video. I hope you guys found it super useful and I will see you in tomorrow's. So that's everything for this video on lead list. I hope you guys found it useful. If you did enjoy this video, please let me know down below or give it a thumbs up and also comment down below with any specific LinkedIn questions you have and I will do my best to answer it in the form of a video because I know, know if you've been following me for a long time on YouTube, I've said this a few times where I'm like, I'm gonna post three times a week and I have had a few dips. I acknowledge this, I'm very sorry. 
But once again, I am now in a good routine and I am gonna be uploading three times a week. So I need as many ideas as possible from you guys. I wanna give you the correct content that's actually gonna be answering your questions and helping you solve the problems that you have when it comes to LinkedIn lead gen or even stuff on mindset, anxiety, salesy type stuff. I kind of enjoy throwing in random video. If I don't have all the answers, I'll go and research it, find out all the best piece of advice, try it out for myself and then let you guys know what worked best for me. But yeah, that's everything for this video. Hope you enjoyed it and I will see you in tomorrow's video for part three, which will be how to use tags as a CRM system on LinkedIn.